Hello everyone, and you're watching Warpstone TV. Uh, and today we're going to do a little episode on my creations of Bile Army, uh, just to show off what I've got up to now and what I'm planning to do in the future. Um, just to show a little insight on little bits of projects that I've been doing. Uh, I have got multiple armies, and this is just one of the many ones that I'm planning to do. Uh, so I'll start off with the main man himself, uh, Fabius Bile. Uh, on painting him, it was really, really fun to do, to be honest. Especially all the skin cloak uh, and all the piping. As well as, like, if you look at the gun, you can see little air bubbles in the gun. Also on the uh, backpack. And in his little tubes on his uh, Kyrosian. I just really liked it. And what I did for like the base, using Dark Eldar parts and Imperial parts from the uh, old Imperial Palace set. <coughs> uh, I also did his little helper. Uh, I can't remember his name at the moment. The reason I did Fabius Bile and his creations of Bile uh, I absolutely love the books. The uh, way that they've been written, they're they, they just amazing and give so much depth and character to all the uh, all the different characters and what happens in the 41st millennium uh, since obviously the Horus Heresy and uh, what's been happening since. So like, I even got a little noise marine for his uh, little army, which was really fun to paint as well. This guy I had in a box since it came out, and I only just painted him up. Uh, I think it was last month. Yeah, I, I do need to stop the gloss on here, but I kind of like it because it's weird to have the gloss on one side of the model for just that shoulder pad to like think he, he cleans it for Slanesh that part just just that shoulder pad but like the little blue flames and the zebra stripes on his head yeah uh, it was really nice to get the uh, the green right on parts of the actual body and on the feet uh, as well as his hair the leopard print was actually simpler than I thought, uh, but I did start off with an airbrush on the uh, colouring of the yellow. So that's that one to go in the army. Uh, next up from what I did, I did an Iron Warrior. Um, and I changed him around a bit, so I started with a Chaos Space Marine kit. Uh, the basic Chaos Space Marines. And what I did, I added a little Necron. Uh, part onto here and kind of made it like a targeting lock for him like an eye like the eye of Sauron because um, I'd think and I also had like a stitching effect on at least one little part of the Fabius Biolami except from the, the noise marine I didn't add a stitch effect on because I thought they're wacky enough, but like on all the models that you'll see in a second, except from the Dreadnoughts, um, they all have a little bit of stitch effect. Like even on this guy here, he's got little blood bubbles in his tube for his eyeball, for his targeting lock. Because uh, I'd think that being part of Fabius's army, you would get little perks. Uh, next one is the purged, which I don't see much of this color scheme around. Maybe it focuses. So I'm just gonna focus. There we go. It's focused now. So the purged. Is it's a nice colour scheme. 
it's basically just the of Adam Black and uh, highlights of grey. I did the little flies on his shoulder pad in freehand because uh, I couldn't find any of the old transfers from the Chaos Space Marines because they used to have it. But like the little eye on his, on his chest and the little valve uh, from is from Necron as well. Also, like the pipe is made out of green stuff. Uh, I just like that model, but I I haven't looked into the background of the purge. But I thought in my Fabius Bile Army, I'm gonna try and make it uh, one of sort of every legion that's added. Uh, that purged one didn't have a flesh piece on, no. not from what I can see. Uh, the next model is an Alpha Legionnaire, uh, who's Alpha Legion on this side, and he's slowly transforming, forming from Black Legion. So, like this part of the shoulder pad is Black Legion. This part of his head's Black Legion. Sorry, the lighting's not brilliant. Uh, there's part of his knee that's Black Legion as well, with a little bit of a valve on the side of his body, just to give him a bit of an adrenaline boost, probably. A uh, flesh uh, tabard, and then part of his uh, shoulder pad there to show his allegiance to Fabius is stitch skin on the top. So that was the next one. Uh, then the next one I did was a character from the Fabius Bile books. Um, and this is uh, Korag. Um, the Death Guard. Uh, what's he called? A Grave Warden, that's it. So uh, as you can see, I did a little Narfesium for him. Made a little hood out of green stuff for him. These pipes. Uh, basically it was the Lord of Contagion body. But then repositioned. So it looked like he was sort of. Charging towards something. Um, probably a Dark Eldar. Uh, Hex Kyries I would say. But I just love the fact of the little tubes. And the little, like we're doing there, little tiny bubbles, but also different colours, just to show you experiments on himself. Because if you work for Fabius, you're probably going to experiment on yourself. I did do his little pet out of green stuff and a nurgling. Uh, I had seen on Facebook that people had used like beasts of nurgle, but I thought beasts of nurgle were too big. Um, because in the description of the book it's like a small dog type uh, creature just in game I'd use it as a little herald but I'll put a little it says in the book about him having a mouth on his belly so I made sure he had a little mouth and tongue coming out in his belly and I'm sure it did anyway unless I was just imagining it but like my um, Nurgle demons are fleshy coloured, not the original green, so I, I go for this sort of bruised and different toned effect in the flesh. Just so then it, I like the little maggot on the side, uh, just so then it's different from other people's armies. So the next thing that we were looking at, I did kind of want to do a Night Lord. Um, Juco is the Night Lord in it, but this isn't Juco, this is just a random generic Night Lord who joined up for the fact that he likes killing Dark Eldar. Uh, he's not got any modifications on him really, other than the little trophy belt on the top, uh, trophy stand, sorry. 
uh, his little flesh cape and his uh, obviously stitched shoulder pad like the uh, Alpha Legionnaire. Korag didn't have the uh, stitching on him since I thought that Korag's one of his main men. Um, the next thing I did was a bit different. I got one of the old Ford World uh, Plague Ogrins and I painted one of them up to put on the battlefield. This would probably use a Chaos Spawn uh, or I could what I was going to do was make some of my own separate rules for like Territor like when in, if anyone's read Angel Exterminatus Fabius Bile makes Territor out of actual Space Marines and makes them into deformed beasts basically and just sends them to slaughter it's 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 really good book uh, but also the free books for Fabius Pile are amazing I can't recommend them enough uh, so Primal Genet is the first one then Clone Lord then Man Flayer uh, also on a note of Man Flayer if you play Horus Heresy Legions uh, that's my name on Horus Heresy Legions so if you ever come across Man Flayer on Horus Heresy Legions uh, ask me for a game if you want and I'll play you um, I also made a little sort of slave guy or maybe it focuses let's try and focus on the base first yeah there so this guy is from Horoclix I think it was uh, and it was a limited edition Horoclix uh, where the see-through uh, means they're limited edition ones uh, and I thought I'll paint this guy up to be sort of blind where he's bleeding from his eyes and I'll add all these pipes on him originally these pipes weren't there because uh, I think he was like an electric chair dude uh, but I just thought he would have some random mind slave sort of thing walking around I just like making little little things for Fabius's army. Um, as you can see, the uh, sort of all goes together at the moment. Uh, the next thing was I got this. This is painted by someone else uh, called Mark Ashworth, uh, or I think he was Lemon Painting, um, and. He's he done amazingly good on a Death Guard army. Uh, he also does like Blood Angels as well. Uh, I haven't seen him do anything else recently, but I just know I wanted this model of him when he was selling his Death Guard army up because um, I just love the Dreadnought with the massive flamer. Uh, so yeah, I've included this in my Death Guard. Uh, in, not in my Death Guard in my Fabius Bile army to just throw a bit more of a armoured feeling into it because it in Fabius Bile in the 40k books uh, in the rules they're a very fast army but I'd like to think that you would have fast dreadnoughts in there as well and that brings me on to the next one uh, I would have I have two world eater dreadnoughts so this is the old box knot it was from Ford World. Um, replace the arms with orc chain blades. Uh, I've not really done too much on this. It was originally for my 30k world eaters, but then I've sold all them uh, because of COVID and obviously money problems. But hey ho, he's in the Fabius Bile army now. Um, just so. It's a bit of variety. We all look at together at the moment. Alpha Legion now wants to be sneaky. Together at the moment, they look like a. You wouldn't want to run into them on the battlefield. Uh, next, I've got a word, word bearer. Um, 
It's a greater possessed. Just basic greater possessed. I didn't think I needed to change him up at all because I just like this greater possessed model. The other one was it was cool, but this one just stood out to me. Especially with all the like mutations of bone, the Slanesh arm, which links into Emperor's Children, and the fact that I've just put Dark Eldar parts on the bottom. Just I feel like word bearers nowadays are either hunted down or used as a big distraction. And I think that like a lot of word bearers would be possessed nowadays in the 41st millennium. Uh, the next one is the Flawless Host. Uh, you don't see this colour scheme that often. Uh, like Because he's already flesh coloured, I've made his little tabard uh, loincloth. Uh, I don't know why I said tabard. White, so apocryphary white. Um, then with obviously the Slanesh logo and the flames and the little tubes as well. It just, it just, it's a nice colour breaker for the rest of the army. Uh, I will be adding a lot of noise marines into this army because I don't think you can really run Fabius Bile without some noise marines since he created them. Uh, the last, second to last, sorry, uh, is a little world eater there. Just took, and definitely this was the first one that I just started converting. Uh, like here on this, this arm here, uh, the little brass world eater logos from the old Ford Road brass. Uh, that's just to enhance his plasma gun. And he's obviously just covered in gore because he's a world eater. I am going to make Aryan Zorzi, the uh, world, world eater in the books. Uh, I have actually got plans for him at the moment. Um, he's just... I want to take my time with him. Uh, like Skalagrim, I want to take my time with. And Oleander, uh, Igori and Savona. Uh, an ancient diamond, the uh, dreadnought. Like I'm going to add some more stuff into there. It's just uh, and Sakara. Obviously, Sakara is another word bearer, but I just want to take my time with them and make it a unique looking ramble of things put together that you would be scared of on the battlefield for a 40k game. Obviously, theoretically speaking. This guy is just a generic Chaos Lord uh, from the Blackstone Fortress set. Um, I thought he was just chewed up enough. And I just like the model. It reminds me of Abaddon, but he's just like probably Abaddon's little friend. Uh, like with his little flesh bit on his arm, just to symbolise he does work for Fabius Bound. Even though Fabius Bile and the Baden kind of get on. Uh, second to last thing that I've got on here is a uh, another mechanical beast, which is the uh, Venom Crawler that I did. Uh, basically, it's stitching all over it. I didn't really want to put up a colour scheme on it. I thought the stitching sort of suited it best. Uh, with the stitching, you start off with. I can't remember now. Um, I think it was just Kislev flesh. Then it was a wash of Gullim flesh in the places that I wanted a recess of where the stitching would start. And then round the ed edges, it would. Well, the stitches are actually pallid witch flesh. And round the edges. If you can see there, you can see a, a highlight of a lighter flesh colour, and I can't remember its name. That might have been Kid's Left Flesh, and this one might have been... Hmm, I can't 
can't remember. It might have been Elflesh or something. Um, but I really enjoyed doing this. It's not often that you see a Venom Crawler in a game. It's just one of them things that's a little nice scenery part of the game. It, I think it would be nice with the uh, Dreadnoughts running up the battlefield. Um, but yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't wait to get on with more of this converting. Um, I also got another Dreadnought here. Another World Eater one. I do like World Eater Dreadnoughts. This one was also part of my 30k World Eater army, which I sold. But I just think Fabius would technically put people in Dreadnought suits if he could. And make them run wild. And a lot of the people who would have been in Dreadnoughts were probably people who had Butcher's Nails in that were World Eaters. I think they were probably an easy one to put in the in a dreadnought chassis, uh, since they were crazy, and it's ten thousand years later than thirty k. So yeah, I am going to be doing some more update videos on these. I'll also show off some more uh, armies, like I've got uh, Gene Steeler Cults, uh, Tyranids, Necrons. Death Cops of Krieg. Um, right at the moment, I've just got here next to my desk. Yeah, another thing that I started working on, which was a Forge Fiend, but instead of obviously putting it down there, put the guns up here, use the airbrush to make the glow effects on the plasma cannons and underneath. But that's not part of this army yet, because it's not fully painted. Just, it, it, it it's just a nice thing to do as a project. I'm more into the lore side of the gaming than the actual competitive gaming. I find it very, very tedious to play against someone who doesn't enjoy the lore. Um, like all my friends who I play against, they, they love the lore. And we love playing little scenarios. Uh, obviously since COVID I haven't played Knife Edition since before COVID but I can't wait to get these guys on the battlefield since this is what I've been doing in my spare time as well as obviously collecting Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I will obviously upload some more Warhammer videos in the future I am planning to get some battle reports out uh, the local gaming club where I normally go has only just opened so I'll be able to go and play some games and take some videos of uh, some battle reports with my friends not guarantee that their armies will be painted but it has been I know some of them have been painting since COVID um, and hopefully in the future I'll be able to get my own gaming table sorted in my house so I can invite people over for games. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comment section. Uh, and please like and subscribe. It would help out a lot. Uh, thank you very much. Bye bye.